All right, high school hockey great matchup at Southside this afternoon. Battle of Unbeaten's Catholic Central and Byron Center. Second period, all kinds of action. Logan Nicholas, the breakaway, he scores, and it's 3 1 Bulldogs. A few minutes later, it's Luke Nicholas from a very tight angle. He's going to give him a 4 to 1 lead. Catholic Central made a comeback in the third period. Andrew Wormuth going to score the goal here. But Byron Center will hold on and win this game. Your final score, 5 to 4. Lowell Caledonia also in action on this Friday night. Took on Plymouth at Kentwood Ice Arena. Great game out there. And Garrett Walker trying to keep his team in the game. This game goes to overtime and in the OT, Plymouth. Tyler Kelly all alone in front. Plymouth wins the game. Final score. Three to two. High school hoops. McDonald's announced its nominees for the All-American team. Over 700 of the top boys and girls are on that list, and it includes four players from the East Kentwood's girls team. Four: Kalis Christopher, Cabrianna Hallman, Alexis McCulley, and Madison Tillman. They were home tonight against West Ottawa, and that is Christopher with the bucket. Nice feed from Thompson. On the other end, Panthers. Grace Pedersen comes off the screen, knocks down the jump shot. Tried to hang in this game, but Madison Tillman inside draws the bucket and the foul, and East Kentwood rolls 61 37. Next stop, Forest Hill Central. Rangers took on Greenville. First quarter action, Theron Halleck, the find on the inbound pass to Remy Ingram. Lays that one in. Rangers jump out to the quick lead, then Halleck with the steal. Gonna go in for the layup. Forest Hill Central. Wins again. They final score at 46 38. Boys basketball will start at Grand Rapids Christian, where Michigan commit Kobe Bufkin, also one of those nominated for the McDonald's All American team. They took on Northview. That's Kyle Vanderjack hits the jumper, but Bufkin and the Eagles just too much. Watch this circus layup there by Kobe. And then in the third quarter, off the steal, and Bufkin's got some daylight. He knows what to do with it. Christian High wins again, 77 to 58. Also from the OK White, Forest Hills Northern at East Grand Rapids. And I can't wait to see Forest Hills Northern and Grand Rapids Christian play this year. This is Cole Reinbrandt finds Ethan Erickson, knocks down the three pointer. Possession later, Reinbrandt to Erickson again. No trouble tonight. Forest Hills Northern wins 75 to 33. We've got a battle of unbeatens in the OK Red, Grand Haven at Rockford. And uh, Rockford trying to come back from a big halftime deficit. That's Charlie Deutsch. The layup within four at that point. But the Bucks regroup, get it inside to Landon Van Beek. The big fellas a load inside, misses, stays with it. Putbacks good. Grand Haven wins 63 49. Next stop, Kellogg'sville, where the Rockets had their hands full against Sparta. Austin Thornton, in his first year as head coach, really has his team playing well. Cameron Townsend to Caleb Balsitis. And that's a bucket for Kellogg'sville, down by five at that point. Sparta on the other end, Connor West going to drive. Dishes off to John Rosma for the easy layup. Don't have a final, but Sparta was up when we left.